Hello, this is uh, Julio Castro again. Um, I'm the founder of eLearning Motion. Let me demo this storyline module for you that I created for the College of Medicine at the Florida International University. And this is a module that has a lot of interactions, a lot of media, a lot of things happen on the screen. So it's very um, supportive to learning, very engaging. So let me show you. So <coughs> Remember, intermediate filaments provide us with physical resistance. The radiator is going through um, this um, graph, for example, and there are animations for zooming. Think epithelial cells that make up your skin. And so how can we prevent something from tearing an organelle apart? Well, in the nucleus, and then um, we, have we divided the picture into different sections so that um, the student only sees the pertinent part that's being aerated. This but they also hold example. Whereas before, when we're talking about microtubules, I like this one because we added a lot of um, animations on this one too. We're going to actually wind You'll see in a moment. Form these ropes that you can see uh, in zoom in and, and actions. In image C, you can clearly see the microtubules that are synchronized are to the animation, like line as you can see. Inside, and compare that to the neurofilaments that are. So we take two monomeric I like this one too because we actually created these animations very simple with images with uh, from this picture to and then tail to tail. Now you flip them and then you we join added these animations to tail, but now you do it in a somewhat staggered manner and you form the tetramer. Now imagine that we lay eight of these tetramers side by side and of course the head is next to the head we end up with the octomer. And if we line up these octomers one after the other, see, we um, form these longer octomeric The only sheets. part we couldn't really like recreate is this rolling and effect, but um, it would have been nice to create some kind of it's animation for that. But you come up to the this is uh, what we can do at I the moment. You guys can tell that a you can see and this is green screen aeration. These intermediate fibers will then make up the various support structures within the cell. And I created this zoom in animations uh, because the narrator is actually talking about some sections of this uh, image, not the whole term, image. Whether it's a hemidesmosome or desmosome, a parent's junction, these filaments are the building blocks. One way. Let's look at the lamins. Their highest concentration occurs around the nuclear core complex. This is very important for getting things into and out of the nucleus, particularly RNA. They also expand that junction to interact with other intermediate monomers. As you can see, there are a lot elements. of things going on. Here are two lamin intermediate monomers. Lamin this one a also, we added um, zooming in effects and annotations. Genetic mutations to these proteins and where they occur. The mutations we see here, whether they're dominant or recessive diseases, are going to be problematic for the structure. It's on a green in screen. other laminopathies, <coughs> such as limb, girdle, muscular, this four pictures, it also has or um, loss zooming in. of the fatty tissues, as you can see in this lady in the final two images. And there's a quiz here that is required. Your filaments are very important. Another disease called Lou Gehrig's disease or amyotrophic neurofilament, that without the reinforcement the synapse. So if the synapse can't fire, you have Here we also have animations and what will happen eventually is that this organization will be sensed as stress and you have This was just one image that we decided to make into three so different parts and animate it and synchronize it with the narrator's voice and then add in annotations. Axons that are affected as you can see, this is the, the whole image itself. Because the other to summarize intermediate filament, the third and last filament, the seven nanometer wide actin filaments, are going to be responsible for giving your cells your shape. Actin polymers contribute to cellular structures that see form neural growth. A good example of how this image shows a close up look at how actin polymers contribute to cellular shape. As you can observe, <coughs> the two cells are. Actin assembly is this also ATP has a lot of ended. animations. The actin filament and the pointed end, which we're going to call the minus end, is because that's going to be closer to the pointed end, interacting at this end. So you put one actin molecule on at the plus end, and you lose at the minus end. It's almost like you have this treadmill effect. 
And that's pretty much in molecules. So Let me show you, you exactly when those animations that you're going actually to happen. Have more rapid addition of actin molecules to the plus end, and it breaks apart at the minus end. So you put synchronize with the narrations, boys, as you can see. Upon and so this was just one image, too, that we decided to divide into different parts you just that show up to synchronize with the narrations, boys, and we added annotations as well. Proteins that are used this video we didn't do this animation, but we added, um, this assembly, we added to the slide, synchronized with the uh, audio when you're narrator. On to summarize, the cytoskeleton is responsible made up of implements. Dysfunction in any one of these elements can lead to diseases that range from repetitive infections to so memory this is the, problems. The part two, disorders. we also have a part three. We learned in the... So keep in mind... When we we added artwork in this one um, that we imported from PowerPoint that's animated, as you can see. The motor. Also, we also we added um, animations. To stability to the polymer, as well as this was just a boring um, on the tissue, which are going to support bullet point list, but we added artwork within this part. Cell movements are going to begin with a change so of cell zooming composed of effects, like the one annotations, the actin mesh. Actin called here and then called text appearing symbolic. synchronized with the audio. Let's take a closer look at dynamic structures. This is the cell cell actin is to this we info without breaking it. All in cell migration, you also added healing, um, sensation and embryonic development. This animation also, with uh, the artwork, this uh, term called ruffles, smart art that from you see on the figure over PowerPoint. Here. Membrane ruffling is actually the Philippodia can be found in different locations, such as smart art from nerve growth cones, fiber water, blasts, uh, PowerPoint cells, and also they help in the formation of other cellular structures. It was animated with the audio synchronized. Those are present on the brush border. As you can see, there is the also animations. As we see in the figure over here. Looks like zooming in, zooming out. You will learn more about the function of mind. They are going to the surface area of the small intestine. So as we have discussed, being able to change cellular shape by manipulating actin structures leads to contraction, and this contraction causes movement. It is also very important for the which are essential for transforming epithelial structures. This is also animated, but more importantly, each image appears on screen, and then afterwards it the moves to a fold. different position. This fold is essential for the development. And then of we have annotations. The simplest type of this is a very complicated uh, slide too, that we are in which we add annotations. This is the original image, but then we decided to add uh, some animations to make it more to make the used for locomotion. This type of motility is material more understanding. We also added our work here. Then the plasma membrane sticks out. To add her to the surface using special membrane. All of this synchronized with the audio. We see in figure B. Followed by the nucleus and cell bar forces mediating, there is the physically to pull the rear of the cell forward. Hopefully, the video here will help you visualize the sequence of events in pseudopod motility so that you better understand it. In the extension. Apart from locomotion, this was just a, a couple of bullet points that we added as smart art which here is exactly from how white PowerPoint. Blood cells make use of pseudopodia for the tests that induce an immune. That's also showing a white blood cell chasing a bacteria. So now that you have seen that the branched there are two regions, lemon lipodium, those actin filaments, but this figure shows the events taking place. We also added the uh, animations here Please because it's a very we won't discuss um, the details here. complicated image. But so speaking, and the narrator is just um, talking about some parts. Receptors. Certain protein complexes are then activated to initiate the formation of new filaments and actin monomer very important because this is how terminate growth while profilin catalyzes the subunits to the pool of end of signal trans This animation here we have been discussing adenine depolymerase dependent manner and attractive force generally as free of effective profilin. <coughs> there is an this is an activity. You need to get the right um uh, the right order in order to move on. So I hope you like it. Um, this uh, this was a very complicated um, module, and we had to divide in parts. And um, as you can see, 
we I spent a lot of time building it. Well, I hope you like it. Thank you.